Hi everyone and welcome. I'm out here in my outdoor worm bin. It's a worm bag actually. And it's been, I don't know, two and a half, almost three weeks now since I last placed some food in here. My reason for putting food in here was that I was just kind of in surplus mode. I had way too much to put away for the downstairs wormery. And today I'm once again in that situation where I was going through the crisper and the refrigerator and yeah, it's a little embarrassing, I must say, to have had stuff that went this bad down in there. Luckily, it's in a, a plastic bag, so the fluids are all getting captured for the most part. But, um, you know, I, I don't go through all that extra rigmarole of freezing the food that I give to the outdoor systems. This stuff's just going to go in as is. And my hope is that the materials that I had placed in here... Um, you know a few weeks ago have for the most part been consumed if not so be it we're just going to stuff it in anyway <laughs> so i'm going to set these aside briefly so we can make a little room to add the fresh food i use this plastic to try to prevent excess moisture from escaping the system to try to keep things nice and damp wow looks like the cabbage that i placed in here was a popular item just like a huge cavity out here from uh, from where the fresh food had been placed in. Every time I look through the system, I think to myself that there's all kinds of you know leaves and material everywhere that the worm should be able to um, you know nourish themselves with. So I didn't think that a, a big pile of freshly added food would be such a hit, but it certainly seems like they've come in for it and done away with the majority of it i mean to the point where there's hardly even any worms left in here oh i spoke too soon <laughs> maybe i'm finally getting down to where the uh the most recent feeding had been placed in and i would think i would think that from an, uh, an amount perspective a quantity point of view the the cabbage that i put in here was quite a, a good good amount so the stuff that they're going to be getting today is probably an equal quantity. I just feel like going a little bit deeper. I'm curious. It's such a cool bin. So many, so many worms hanging out in here. I've been reluctant to go check on my outdoor compost barrel, which is right here next to <laughs> this system. You know, during the winter when things got really, really harsh and cold out here in the in the outside, I. I did take pity on this system and I went ahead and I, you know, moved it inside to give it shelter from the extreme cold. But I did not do that with my outdoor compost barrel. The outdoor compost barrel just stays outdoors all year long. It's probably too heavy to move anyway. And I, I really wonder if, you know, now that it's warming up, maybe it would be worth checking in there too to see if there's any worms in there. Or did the whole thing freeze solid and uh, have all the worms succumb to the cold? If that's the case, then I would assume that there's probably still, you know, cocoons floating around the system that are just waiting for warmer, more favorable weather to roll around so they can hatch. And then there'll be baby worms in that system again. But I really don't know what to expect in there. One of these days I'll have to check it out. So there wasn't you know a whole lot to be done here other than make space for the fresh food that i'm adding now and uh i'm dumping it in so let's uh let's start bringing that stuff over we'll start with the uh start with the grapes they should really get a kick out of this some of them are already kind of you know breached and squishy and the fluids are easily accessible some of them um, are not yet broken open. So I'm wondering if I should maybe squash them a little bit just to make sure that they're, you know, easy to consume. Or at least the majority of them. This should really make this um, feeding area a hit. Uh, sounds like the landscapers next door are backing out of the driveway. The folks next door are doing a big project in their backyard, so there's been trucks and materials and people coming and going here for the past few days. Excuse the excess racket. 
Okay, so they're also getting some really, really <laughs> spoiled tomatoes. Man, these things are shot. They're pretty much, uh, it's pretty much their own little tomato sauce anymore. I'll have to get rid of those trash bags in a moment. Man, I really turned to mold this stuff. But, you know, the worms are gonna really enjoy this. Huge bounty of nice moisture, a combination of sweet and maybe not so sweet foods. So it's really nice to see how well things are going in this system here. During the winter, there were moments when I did worry about, you know, leaving it out and, you know, the cold getting the better of them. But they toughed it through the winter quite nicely. True that I took pity on them a number of times and I left the system in, indoors, sheltered from the cold to prevent, you know, disaster from happening in here. And I think it was worth it. I'm glad I did, because otherwise we could have ended up with a system with no worms in it. Oh, these are even chunks of the cabbage from last time. So they didn't get all of it. <laughs> all right, so I did use one of my um, gardening gloves from the garage. I ran out there really quick before doing this, because every time I use one of my thin rubber gloves from the wormery, it ends up shattered and ripped and ends up in the trash. So I thought that today I will try to use a somewhat tougher glove so that doesn't happen. But that's it. That's all I really wanted to take care of today. There's a little bit of rain coming down. It's already drizzling a bit. And I wanted to get this taken care of really quick before the rain really rolls in. And I can already feel it and see it picking up as we speak. So I'm going to uh, cover up here. You know, in fact, I think I'm going to leave the covers off and let the rain soak in. I think the I think the worms will appreciate that too. And I'll cover up at a later time. All right, everyone, I got a little bit of cleaning up to do and I'll get rid of that trash. But really quick before I go, let me just really quick say uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave me a thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching.